Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple table lamp, not unlike the one shown right here. Uh, this is a very simple table lamp, we're just going to use the family editor to do that. So, first of all, we're going to create a new family, so we're going to go to the R button here, select New Family, and we're going to scroll down through here until we see Metric Lighting Fixture. There it is there, so Metric Lighting Fixture. Just click on this and click Open. Now this will bring up uh, the standard uh, family editor, so as you can see it here, so we have our reference planes and we have a light source provided for us. So first of all we're going to have a quick look at this uh, in terms of front and back and all the rest. So a quick look at the front there and you can see that it's currently at a height of 1500, so we're just going to drop this back to 450. And you can see there that the light source drops with it. Okay, we're going to create this table lamp by using um, the revolve tool here. This works very simply by creating a profile in 2D space and then spinning it around an axis. You can see the little demonstration for it there. So click on the revolve button here and we get our standard tools again available to us here but you'll notice there's also an axis line. So what we'll do is we'll create the profile using these tools here and then we'll create the axis line and then finish the object. So Let's get the base of this thing done first. So I'm going to select the line tool here on the boundary lines. So I'll bring this over here for, I don't know, maybe 100. Bear in mind that this will be um, doubled as we revolve the shape, so be careful of your sizing. Okay, I'm going to change the scaling on this now to 1 to 2, just to give me something a different look. There we go. So run that up to 15. And finish that there. And uh, let's get a look at the light source again. It's about here. So we start it here, bring it out a bit. About 35 mil. And now what I'll do is I'm going to create a spline so I can join these pieces together. So using the spline tool here, uh, just bring it a little bit this way. Get a nice little curve on it. Take it a bit further and uh, maybe bring it in short to here and then put it again there. So this is my basic shape, uh, not terribly pretty but it'll do. And we need to close this off as well, so we close off this entire shape from here to here. Now having done that and given it a complete profile, we can then click the axis line here and it'll ask us to draw it in, so I'll go from here to here and then finish the object. And there we go. So probably underestimated that a bit. Now, quick look in a 3D, and we can see there that it's not too bad. Um, there we go. Now, what I'm going to do next is put a shade on this. So back into my front view, and uh, create a simple shade to go on this. Actually, what I might do is extend this up a bit. Ooh, it's horrible. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to put a shade around this and again I'm going to create another revolve to do that. So again just using the line tool. Uh, I'll take it from here to here, bring it out, undercut it and then close it. And again axis line between there and there. And finish. Now when you do this it fires an error at you telling you that the light source is inside solid geometry and no light will be emitted during rendering. Now, one would, um, what was that about? One would be a little bit concerned about this, obviously, but what we're going to do is we're going to apply materials to this uh, object in such a way that light will be able to penetrate it. So, again, we'll just get rid of that error. Again, remain cognizant of it. And uh, let's have a look in a 3D view. There it is. Uh, not great, but it's yeah reasonable enough. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is start applying some materials. So I'm going to just grab this part here, and again we have materials and finishes, material by category. So I'm going to open this out, and um, let's pick some materials here. So I don't have anything I want, uh, so I'm going to go and create a new material here. So I'll create new material, uh, go into the library, I'll give it a name when I've decided what it's going to be. 
So let's see uh, something nice. Yeah, stone finish. So what do we got there? Oof, just graphite and marble. So why not go for marble just to be awkward? And uh, now that that's been created, I can drop it in here. And I'm going to change the name of this now to something more appropriate. So I'm just going to say marble. And click apply, click OK. And now that material has been applied to the base. Now, for the lampshade itself, I'm going to do something slightly different. I am, of course, going to put a material on this. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a fabric of some shape or form. So again, I'm going to create a new material, go to my asset browser, have a look in here, fabrics, uh, leather, a few cottons, things like that. Okay, I'm going to pick something slightly different because I want to show some effects later. So again, in the appearance library here, grabbing a fabric, and let's see. Okay, there's a red plaid here, so we're going to use that. So double click on that. In it comes. Now this has quite a dramatic effect. Now because we're working in the shade this time, we're going to change the properties a little bit. I can get rid of the acid browser now, I don't need it. And what we're going to do is set the transparency. So first of all, we need to turn that on, and currently it's set to 30%. So I'm going to push this to 70%, like so. And I'm not going to do anything else in here. Just set the transparency up to 70% and click apply and then click OK. So hopefully now when this part gets used the light will be able to transmit at least 70% of it anyway um, through the material and will actually cast uh, in render uh, on whatever objects it, that light falls onto. So if it hits a wall or something like that you should see the plaid pattern uh, on the wall. So that's pretty much it. Um, what we can do here as well, if we want, is we can go into our family types here and we can also have a look at the photometrics associated with this. Um, by default, we get a light loss factor of 1 and initial intensity here given at, um, what, 1380. Now, 60 watt bulb is going to be somewhere around 800, so we might just leave it there. Um, but just be aware that that can be changed if you need to. Okay, so we can add a parameter as well if we like. Um, so for instance, we could add a material pr parameter in here, like so. And this will be added into materials and finish, and we can call this base. So this is the base of the lamp, obviously. So we can click OK on that. And we can then apply uh, that to our, um, our lamp. So I'm going to click Apply here for the moment and click OK. So if we look again at the base here, we can look at this material, and what we can do, sorry, just to show you that again, we set up the marble associated with the base here. What we can do is we can change that by associating a family parameter here. So click on that, and you can see there we have a family parameter of base, and we can click on that and click OK. All right, so now that will be um, user editable. So when they're back in the model. And we can do the same with the lampshade, but we're not going to do it this time. Anyway, load this back into the project. Okay, um, into project one, which is where I had the other one. So click OK on that. And uh, I'm just going to drop it here, I guess. And uh, it's going to get the south elevation and see what I need to do to place this properly. So if we look at this one, this has an offset of 762. So I'm just going to apply the same offset to this. So 762, hit apply. And that's now at the correct height. Well, yeah, probably a bit low actually. Anyway, um, back to level zero. And what I can do now is move this into space here. And if I have a look at this in a 3D view, there we go. Now, the materials are not showing on this because the material properties that I've chosen here have not been set up to view in a shaded view. Um, however, if you render this out, it will apply those materials. Okay, good luck.